come to uh, Oslo in December to receive the prize? No, we leave that to the EU itself. They, uh, I mean, this is a, a prize to the European Union, and uh, they have to decide who will come and receive the medal and uh, make the lecture. What was most difficult for the committee during the process ending up with a prize to the EU? Of course, it is difficult that uh, it comes when there is so much turmoil and uh, austerity measures and uh, protest, uh, social unrest in uh, some EU member countries. But uh, on the contrary, in such time, it's uh, important to remind people of uh, what we have achieved and actually we have a good, e a good framework for solving problems. How critical, uh, how controversial do you think this prize will be in Norway and outside Norway? In Norway, more controversial than in other countries. But I hope that people in Norway can uh, differentiate between what they think about uh, Norwegian membership in the EU and the role that EU as such has played for peace and reconciliation in uh, Europe. Many no people uh, uh, do that, actually. During the history of the Nobel Peace Prize, they have been given prizes to, uh, to pioneers of, uh, of uh, uh, movements, peace movements, to diplomats, to uh, central politicians, to human rights fighters, for people working uh, for arms control and, uh, and disarmament. How will you characterize this year's prize? Well, uh, this is a prize to the organized world. We have give, give a prize twice to the United Nations, uh, which was also a prize to, to the fact that we need to have a better organized world in order to have stability and peace. And the same goes with the European Union, I would say. Some people will perhaps say that you, as a Secretary General of the Council of Europe, that, that should disqualify you for uh, being part of a discussion in the committee, ending up with a prize to the EU. What is your answer to the critical voices? The Council of Europe is a totally independent organization. It has 47 member countries, not 27 as I have in the uh, EU, so therefore we have to act totally independent. And I, as Secretary General, uh, because I am so-called depositor of the European Convention on Human Rights, I have to act totally independent and I have uh, read an oath in the Committee of Ministers saying that I will not take instruction from any government or any authority outside the Council of Europe. So I'm probably the most independent person in Europe today. Thank you, Mr. Jagla. Thank you.